Hello Internet, this is Bone Carlos bringing to you another quote unquote weapons guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at the FAD, and it's going to be brought to you by Tatzelveln. Tatzelveln? 777. So big ol' shout out to him. Uh, like my previous two videos, or a couple, three, two or three videos, uh, we're going to go ahead and give you the base stats of this weapon before we get started. The FAD is the last uh, weapon you do unlock in this game at level 78. It still is a fully automatic assault rifle and it has a curious ammo capacity of 42 clip or magazine, whichever one you prefer. It does have the lowest damage uh, up close at 30 and it drops down to 24 at a distance. Pretty much what this means, you're going to up close, you're going to be killing at a 4 and it's going to go ahead and go up to 5 once you reach that range uh, cap. The rounds per minute are quite high, or actually the highest in the assault rifle class at a thousand rounds per minute, while the aim down sights time is the fastest in his class. Actually second fastest, uh, at just over one second at 1.1 seconds. The reload time actually is the slowest of the assault rifles at over three seconds, so it's exactly at 3.2 seconds. This gun has virtually zero recoil on it, uh, coupled with the fact that the iron sights are quite open and very slim. When aiming down the sights, it's very easy to use uh, use this weapon and master the recoil and kick that it gives you. So, with all this in mind, there was a preferred setup that I enjoyed using and one that I would recommend to just about anyone out there. Uh, with Without any kind of recoil on this gun, I just skip kick altogether. It does help a little bit. Especially at a distance, but really, since you're going to be spraying out a thousand rounds per minute, you really don't need kick in any shape, way, or form. So what I found myself using instead was focus. Since the the flinch on this weapon is quite high, I noticed, um, after that fir first volley of enemy weapon fire, having focus just keep those bullets shooting in the right direction helps immensely. Um, I do like putting on a, the, the attachment of a silencer on it. It keeps the flash down, making the, the iron sights that much better on this weapon. And it helps with the kick just a little bit. And again, the range is so low that you really, you don't really need to have to worry about the range drop off. I did find myself just churning through a lot of bullets with this. Sometimes I would just, just fire and keep firing and keep firing until I saw that, uh, plus 50 pop up. And sometimes I just kept firing just for the hell of it because... This weapon is just slightly unreliable when it comes to bringing down those enemies and it's just not as uh, certain to uh, to just bring them down whenever you feel the need, uh, whenever you feel that you have brought them down. So I found myself just churning through bullets and I found myself picking up uh, using Scavenger a lot more than Sleight of Hand even though it does have such a high, high reload time. For my second perfect, I found myself using Quick Draw just across all just builds of this gun. Uh, for some reason, the aim down sights was especially low on this weapon, and I just couldn't find myself I couldn't find myself to bring to use hardline in any situation. So quick draw is what I would recommend. Uh, for the third perk, uh, definitely steady aim. Normally, I put stalkers uh, stalker on my assault classes, but uh, steady aim does feel like it, it works with this weapon a lot more since it's churning out so many bullets at a time. I mean, you turn a corner and at the same time as an enemy does, just pull that right trigger, they're gonna drop pretty quickly. So that was it for my ideal setup. You just go ahead and put on focus with a silencer and then just go ahead and use scavenger, quick draw, and steady aim. There was a second uh, build that I found that was quite interesting and quite fun and that was with a two-time attachment proficiency. Um, de definitely using a, an ACOG and a hybrid sight is very ideal for this gun, especially at mid-range, but anything beyond that is just kind of iffy, especially if you're not going to be using kick. So I uh, definitely use two times attachment and what I found myself using was silencer and a hybrid. Now this brings the weapon into kind of a sweet zone where all the bullets are still clustered together uh, while having maximum zoom or magnification with that scope. Everything else is pretty much the same uh, with the perks. It's still going to use scavenger. You're still going to be uh, churning through those uh, through those bullets. Um, quick draw definitely to bring that uh, the aim down sights just that much faster. And uh, steady aim in case someone just gets into your perif that you didn't notice. You could also conversely use marksman if you'd like, but with the hybrid sights, you're not going to be zooming in that much. 
Uh, so that was it for my fad. Those were the two classes I found myself just succeeding and excelling with. There are also a bunch of variations on this, um, such like I mentioned before, an ACOG and uh, just a kick. That also works quite well in an ACOG and with um, with the silencer. But overall, the perks remain the same throughout all builds that I do, and it's just about uh, it's just a matter of tweaking the attachments to your liking. Uh, I did have fun with this weapon, though. It was it was quite fun, and I always enjoy using the fad whenever I get to level 78. So, uh, that's it for that. I hope you guys enjoyed. If not, leave a comment down below on what I could make these, uh, what I could do to make these more enjoyable for you guys. And also, uh, leave a comment down below on what gun you want me to do next. So, first come, first serve, guys, on this video. Uh, that's me. That's it. And I'm going to get on out of here.